Hi, today we're going to take a look at different remotes for Sony cameras and what they can do. So let's dive in. If you're not physically behind the camera when you're shooting, or you're afraid that you might shake the camera when pressing the shutter button, then using a remote, and especially a wireless remote, is the way to go. In this roundup, we'll try and share our experience with different Sony compatible remotes and give you our recommendations. There are a number of wired remote options for Sony cameras, including the original Sony VPR1 and quite a number of third party devices for less than half the price. However, However, if you're like us, you're probably going to want to lose the cable so you can walk around more freely and gain a few other functions that a wired remote doesn't include. So in this comparison, we're going to focus on the best wireless options that are on the market right now. Let's start with the Sony Infrared Original Remote. This little remote is pretty great for when you are very close to your camera and have a direct line of sight. It is small, light and inexpensive. It also features a number of very useful buttons including stills and video recording, a 2 second delay for stills and some options to access the menu and play images. We especially like the zoom in and out function which we use a lot for video, not with our power zoom lenses but actually with primes using Sony's fantastic and much underrated clear image zoom. There are some third party versions of this remote which we haven't tried since the original is relatively inexpensive but feel free to test them and report back. Next we have Sony's Wireless Remote Commander. This unit is Sony's latest camera remote with Bluetooth capabilities and is only compatible with the most recent camera models with the latest firmware. The remote has some very powerful features compared to the older infrared remote from Sony, including autofocus and control of manual focus, as well as a programmable C1 button customizable by the user from the camera, which can be extremely useful. It also has a video slash stills shooting mode, focus zoom option, and also a new feature, a lock switch for preventing the keys from getting pressed by accident, which tend to happen a lot in our bag. The last fantastic option of this remote, and one which almost nobody mentions, is the telelight. Yes, you can finally know when your camera is actually shooting video even if you can't look at the back of the screen. This alone is a reason to buy this remote, in our opinion. The third remote is JJC's RMT P1BT. JJC makes a lot of third-party remotes, some are different than the original ones and some are exactly the same. In this case, the remote is almost identical to the original Sony Bluetooth remote, it has the same bottoms with the same layout and works in exactly the same way, but it is a bit smaller, lighter and actually has a more convenient and larger strap hole at the bottom. Next, we have the Lanparte LRC01RF remote. This last remote that we are going to look at is one that we have already tested here on Lensvid back in 2018. The remote is made by the Chinese manufacturer Lanparte and it is a little bit big for our taste. It requires a tiny screwdriver to replace the two AA batteries and it communicates via RF using a 3cm dongle that you can connect to more or less any Sony camera. One other advantage this remote has is being able to connect to more than one camera and start or stop the video recording on both at the same time. However, you will need to buy an extra dongle for that. The options on this remote are fairly limited. Still shooting, start and stop video recording and zoom. You also have an option to turn the camera off but not on again. Here are our impression after working with all these remotes. The Sony infrared remote works in a relatively short line of sight. This also depends on the camera but some Sony models have a single infrared receiver which means that they will only work reliably from one side and from other angles they might or might not work at times. These limitations make them hard to recommend to anything but occasional use. For professional use where repeatability is key they might not be reliable enough. All of the remotes that we have tested require some setup. With the infrared one, you will need to turn on the remote control function in the camera menu and with the Bluetooth one, you will need to turn Bluetooth remote control on and then pair the remote in the Bluetooth settings. 
To pair both the Sony Wireless Remote Commander and the JJC Bluetooth Remote, you will need to get into pairing mode on the camera and long press about 7 seconds the shutter button on the remote together with the plus button on the Sony Remote or the T button on the JJC unit until the camera confirms the pairing. We have been successful in pairing both remotes to our Sony A7R Mark IV at the same time and you can work with both. At the time of making this video, we have not tried pairing any of the Bluetooth remotes with more than one camera at the same time, but we will update the article when we do so. Aside from the Lundperter remote, all of the other remotes that we have tested use the CR2032 bottom battery. We recommend that you buy several of these and keep at least one extra with your remote at all times, as you can never know at what critical point it might stop working since none of these remotes have a battery indicator. We really feel that at this point these things should come with a built-in rechargeable battery which should charge through USB-C. As you can see, there are some big differences in pricing between all these remotes. So here are our recommendations. If you are an occasional user with one of Sony's new cameras and only going to work with a remote from time to time, the JJC version of the Bluetooth remote has basically the same functionality as the more expensive Sony version and is smaller and lighter. However, we found the build quality of the JJC model lacking and the shutter button was way too sensitive in our unit. We also had to find a fix for the battery connection and added a silicone washer behind the battery door to provide better contact. For professionals like us who use this type of remote for work on a daily basis, the extra cost of the Sony Bluetooth remote is worth the better build quality. You do get what you pay for, well, at least in this case. For older Sony cameras, the Sony Infrared Remote is still a decent option and unlike the more expensive Bluetooth version, for the price we see no point in even trying the third-party options. As we have noted before, please keep in mind that for all these remotes, make sure that you have plenty of coin batteries ready and replace the battery the minute that you feel the remote is starting to fail. Just make sure that you keep a line of sight to the camera with the infrared versions. If you really need a non-line-of-sight option for older Sony cameras, the Lanparte LRC01 is a possibility, but it is larger, has less control options and requires an adapter, which can get lost. One remote which we haven't covered is the Sony Wireless Bluetooth Shooting Grip. It is also based on Bluetooth and only works with the latest Sony cameras and firmware. However, it has far less options and costs significantly more. Its only advantage is that it has a grip, and so if you are doing a lot of vlogging, it might have some advantage, although it isn't a gimbal and does not really stabilize the camera. Looking ahead, we recently came up with an idea for an even better remote for Sony cameras and shared it with Sony. Although to be honest, we are not sure what will come of this. If you are a third party manufacturer and you are considering developing an advanced Sony remote, we will be happy to share our experience, insight and ideas on this subject. So feel free to contact us on LensVid. So that was our look at all sorts of different remotes for Sony cameras and what they can do. Check out the full article on LensVid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos just like this. See you next time.